Good day, everyone. So this will be our next lesson after electromagnetic or electricity and magnetism, the eddy currents and induction breaking. So without further ado, let's start. So what is induction as a review? So you know that induction is basically a principle stated by Faraday, right? So Faraday's law stated that the induced electromotive force in any closed circuit is equal to the negative of the time rate of change of the magnetic flux through the circuit. So this is electromagnetic induction in its formula form. So this E here is the EMF or the electromotive force measured in, volt, in volts. Di ba EMF, amon siya ang driving force sa isang electric current. So this is the one that pushes the current along your wire for example. So this is your magnetic flux. Okay? Don't mind the italicized D for the rest for the derivative. Okay, Kaya just naman siya. So amon siya ang magnetic flux. Ano yun? Ano B? Which indicates the number of magnetic field lines along a closed circuit. So amon siya ang, again, the magnetic flux refers to the number of magnetic field lines. And of course, the the time or T change in time. So as you notice, there is some negative symbol because that follows Lenz's law. This is why circuits obey Newton's third law along with the conservation of energy. So an induced electromotive force always gives rise to a current whose magnetic field opposes the original change in magnetic flux. That's why my negative that oppose your electromotive force. In some other formula, you have the presence of N, which is the number of turns in a wire coil. Meaning, the greater the number of turns, the greater will be the presence of your magnetic flux. That's why, sa inyong uh, electromoto, anang electromotor, the more siya ma spin because of the number of wires nga ginlo, gin coil nyo. Okay? The same goes to the electromagnet. The more nga damo ang turn ng wire around the nail, for example, the greater or the stronger is the magnetic field being generated. Of course, na other elements or factors affect the strength of your electromagnet, like your batteries, the number of batteries. Of course, the more nga damo ang battery, the stronger because of the EMF. Then of course, sa electromotor, the more man yung ang battery, again, the more man nga mas spin ang imong nga motor. So what I've said, nang, there are many ways to to achieve that. That's why I didn't specify a specific procedure. I only showed the video. So that you can actually nang, observe or discover other methods to achieve the goal. Your goal is for the electromagnet to attract nang, the 15 paper clips for 30 seconds. That's it. For the motor, your goal is to um, make the motor spin for at least 30 seconds. So there are many ways to do that. Okay? So what is ng eddy currents? Eddy, this, this is the fluid eddy's information and behavior. Ang eddy, amun siya kung magsaguan kapalit sa mga boat, ang mga waves, ripples, ripples, that is your eddy. So responsible for the opposing magnetic fields that produces drag and heating effects. So amun siya ang aton nga eddy. So last meeting we discussed about maglev, correct? So amun siya ang the oppose, opposing magnetic fields. The drag effects give rise to induction breaking. The absence of external potentials will result in the system coming to a halt. So heating effects are exploited by devices such as induction co cookers. If left unchecked, then it could result in serious damage to mechanical and circuit components. So basically, ang eddy currents are amuna siya ang ga what? Ang ga oppose sang imo nga motion sang isa ka particular object because these are also magnetic fields being generated. Okay? These are magnetic fields that produces drag and heating effects. So later on, I'll be showing you a video to demonstrate eddy current. And by the way, the quiz is also nang presented in this video. So be sure to watch until the end. Kaya rin yung quiz. Nag-ibotan ko lang sa MS Word. Okay? So this is your quiz later on. So heating effects are everywhere from the laminations presented from your transformer. Ari pala, this nang a three-phase transformer, then kada, kada line niyo, sang dog E, ni mga solenoid, di ba diba solenoid? This solenoid is your other term for the coil of wire in electromagnet. So, solid conductors would suffer increased resistivity and large energy loss. That's why they have these laminations to, re ng ano, to, ng, ng, to reduce the loss of heat. That's why ginalaminate na da ang mga 
Na pero magnetic material present present in your transformer. So these drag effects are very important, especially sa maglev ang mga eddy current because they make use we, we do this on magnetic braking. So that be, not to be confused with stellar magnetic braking, the primary reason for slow stellar rotations. So this utilize in many practical applications. What I've said last meeting, ang mga mga trains ang maglev as a braking system. They make use of your eddy currents. That produces your drag. So, you might be wondering, paano mag-slow down ang isa ka maglev? It's because of eddy currents by producing an opposing ng magnetic field. Some roller coasters, you also make use of magnetic braking para hindi mag-awas ang roller coasters, yung railing, railings. Yun na naman roller coasters, they're very fast and the track is curvy, mega power circular. Pero na some braking industrial equipment, power tools, your metal detectors, okay, ang yung mga spin machines to increase resistance and determining structural defects in conductive materials. So there are many ways actually to conduct this one. You have the circular, so metal disc on the end of the assembly, and the linear, ang mga siyang duka, straight lang yun, static, bank of magnets, conductors located the tracks, so conductor magnets on the car. Usually, ang mga siyang mga roller coaster, and even some trains, they make use of this linear ng braking. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of eddy currents? Number one, as I mentioned last meeting, it is quiet because there is no wear, wala gabaid or ga, gakaskasanay ang surface between the railings and the transportation or the vehicle itself. So wear only if cooling systems failure, essentially zero maintenance. They produce no chemical pollution, of course, no dust, no smell, physical waste, and toxic chemicals. However, disadvantage, you still need conventional brakes to hold the vehicle stationary. Of course, para mag, mag, ano, mag forever ang vehicle, dapat kapitan mo mag to make it steady. In reality, certain sections of railroad tracks have lots of brake activity. So, excess heat would cause structural issues because of the heat loss generated by the opposing magnetic field. Then, you have reduced brake effectiveness. Amo naman sa ang, I think, ang disadvantage because of the reduced brake effectiveness. So, basta hindi mo madali-dali ipaprino ang imo nga ang imo nga bicol. And of course, increased cost because of the technology being used. So, you also have regenerative braking that is still not widely used. No, mo na siya. Avoid problem for having to carry around big flywheels. So, mo na siya. Okay? Instead of it just being allowed to dissipate as heat. So, mo siya nang bako gina nga dissipation of heat but of course, because ginakapture nilang energy of the induced currents, they try to lower the dissipation of heat. So right now, I'll be demonstrating eddy currents. Now, to start with, I will nang explain this danay. Di ba you have a falling magnet on a copper tube? Pag dagdag mo sa magnet, because it is a magnet, it will have a magnetic field. So this is the direction of the magnetic field. Now, if you induce a current on your copper tube, of course, may malabay nga current, correct? May current na, for example, because there's a change in magnetic field, may motion ng magnetic field, di ba remember EMF, a change in magnetic field produces an electric field, correct? So this is your primary magnetic field. It will produce these yellow lines, which is your eddy current, your electric field. But then again, because there's a change in electric field, it produces a green, your magnetic field. So that is why this magnetic field opposes your na primary magnetic field. The secondary magnetic field in green opposes your red primary magnetic field, causing the drop of the falling magnet to be slowed, slowed down. Mas slowed down ang pagdadad sa iyong mga falling magnet. Okay? So I've been now, now showing you a video on that one. The record. Uh, so this is magnetic braking. Magnetic braking is a type of braking which doesn't rely on mechanical pressure, as is common in most braking systems. We'll demonstrate this type of braking using a magnet and a copper tube. Unlike iron, copper is not a magnetic material, so the magnet won't physically stick. So notice the speed of the magnet as it falls yes, down. Sir, magnetic attraction cannot be the reason for any. Okay, so make your dash at that point. A slit has been cut in the front of the copper tube, so you can see the magnet as it drops. As you can see, the magnet falls much slower than you might expect. 
Wala para siya eddy current or magnetic breaking. And see how quickly it falls. It falls much faster. Therefore, magnetism must have a role to play in this process, even if the magnet is not being physically attracted. Kaya tawag nung speed sa inyong magnet. Di ba kaslow down? Because of the eddy current that produces drag effects. Gina slow down niya ang speed sa descent sa inyong magnet. Using the following cartoons, we can explain the processes that are actually happening. Again, we see the magnet dropping through the tube. So the magnet has a primary magnetic field lines, but because there's a change in motion of the magnetic field, di ba? A change in motion of the magnetic field produces a electric current. Faraday's law states that any change in the magnetic field of the copper tube will cause a voltage to be induced in the tubing. Nah, this is eddy currents. Your electric currents. They're called eddy currents due to the circular motion they undergo. But then again, because of that, they may change from an electric field. Your electric field produces a magnetic field, so my secondary magnetic field, which opposes your primary magnetic field. That's why pag dagdag sa iyong mga na magnet naga slow down. Another law predicts that opposes the change which produces it. That is according to Lenz's law. So Lenz's law is the one or the one responsible for slowing down the descent or the fall of your your magnet. Electromagnetic field is such that it produces a current whose magnetic field opposes the change which produces it. Essentially, this means that the magnetic field created by the eddy currents. So we have two solenoids and a solid copper pendulum to demonstrate further the eddy current. So again, solenoid is basically a coil of wire. So you have their pendulum with no perforation, so it's steady. So look what happens if they add the current and slow down your pendulum. So to ano this to na to counter your eddy current, they put some perforations. Ara o may mga bubuo na na dos dosuyod na ang imong a pendulum. So di ba ang the gaps are occupied by air with an insulator. So this is just a Japan spin. And resist the ano the creation of an opposing magnetic field until of course it slows down because nothing lasts forever. Okay. So if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. You can PM me about this one. Short naman isa. So right now, I will now be presenting your your quiz. So 10 items naman isa. You will answer this one on an MS Word. Okay. MS Word, 10 items only. So just copy the format. Name, your section, quiz one. A quiz two na nigele. Quiz two, second quarter. Day. Identification answers only, you write the answers to the following questions. So you create a word file and you write the answer to the following questions. So question number one, in EM induction, a change in magnetic field produces a change in blank field. Two, in Flemish right hand rule, the index finger indicates the direction of what? Three, it is also a term for the coil of wire used in, as an electromagnet. Four, what is the name of the first electromagnetic generator built in 1831 by Michael Faraday? Five, in the EM spectrum, what EM wave has the highest frequency? 6. MRI stands for what? 7. In the formula E equals to HF, the H stands for what? 8. Eddy currents are also known as blank currents. 9. It states that an induced electromotive force, or EMF, always gives rise to a current whose magnetic field opposes the original change in magnetic flux. And number 10, it is the number of magnetic field lines passing through a given surface or a closed surface. Okay, so you answer that one on an MS Word file, or I will be uploading nalang this one, okay, so that you can answer nalang di somewhere below sa mga tong nga nga quiz. Okay, so thank you very much, and I hope you learned a lot in today's lesson. See you next meeting.